let me see if it's recording. Are we recording? I think we're recording. All right. Can you state your name for the record? Veronica Mayu. Mayu? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you spell? No, wait. It's on your paper, isn't it? Did I spell it right? Correctly. M-A-I-O. Why do you think I'm doing this? Why am I in, in, uh, uh, interviewing both foreign exchange students? Why do you think I'm doing it? See what I mean by sleepy? <laughs> nobody, nobody has a, a thought. Nobody cares. Well, one thing, I want you to know how good you have it. You're going to see in just a minute, right? Remember one thing that Arion said? School uniforms. Do you mind getting that for me? Thank you. School uniforms, you've got it. You've got it good. Now, is there an Albanian Italian rivalry in any way, shape, or form? Yeah. If you wrote, like right across the Adriatic from each other? Yeah. Okay. No. Used to be. Used to be? Oh, okay. In, in soccer or in politics? Politics. Okay. So you're not going to, like, start yelling at each other? Yeah, that was so weird. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So my before I ask you any questions and before I let them ask any questions, I want to know how many of you could p point out where she's from on the map. One, two, three, four, five. All right. You're going to have to prove it now. It's like Florida. What does that mean? Yeah. What, what's the What's the technical word? Peninsula. There you go. There you go. Okay. Good geography sense. Now, here I, I gotta put it. I gotta make this on here fairly large. She does not have to do a presentation like Arion did, and so we're kind of not winging it. You can see I've got something prepared there, but. Oh, it's 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 labeled already. Oh, okay. Well, shoot. How about this? Hold on. Aha. Uh huh. Did I hear you say if you don't know where Italy is, then there's no hope for you? Okay. Well, you know that there were people in my college prep class, not Jacob, who can't tell me where Great Britain is. You know, our mother country. Okay, so in my college prep class. Okay, who wants to come up and, and point on the map to where Italy is? Who wants to volunteer to do it? Uh, but if, if, if you do it, it doesn't help me prove my point. Uh, but, You'll be a last resort. Anybody want to want to want to show? Yeah, please, please do it. <laughs> I consider that vandalism. All right, it looks like a boot, right? And it looks up like a boot that's kicking a football. Does anybody know what that little football is called? Sicily. Thank you. Why was it the non-American got that right before everybody else? Okay, now, just out of curiosity, somebody besides Arion, can somebody point to where Arion's country is? After his presentation. Veronica, can you do it? I'm kind of like the area. I don't know if I... Show us the general area. It's like here? Yeah, it's called the Balkan Peninsula. Is this one? Yep. Okay. Yep. Here, if, if, if you need help, if you all need help, laser pointer, Italy, Sicily, Corsica, Sardinia. Mm -hmm. Are those independent? Are they part of Italy? Uh, I mean, Corsica is in France. France. <laughs> Kosovo, right there. 
Okay, now, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to put you on the spot, okay, and I'm going to ask you, what would you like to tell us about your country or your hometown before we get started officially on the interview questions? Now, this is number two for you on there, and yes, my expectation is if you want points for today, you're just to answer the questions. What would you like to tell me about your country and your hometown? Which is like kind of like you live, you know, like here. Here? Uh, like, um, yeah, like, yeah, there. You say it's called Florence? Yeah. Like the Florence? Yeah. Like, oh, what is so special about Florence? Why should they care about Florence? Why do so many people want to travel to Florence? It's like the. Like Leonardo da Vinci, or like Michelangelo, all of them, like, have like statues or something like that. I don't know what to call them, I want to do the in English. Um, what do you call them in Italian? It's like 600. And that's all? Yeah. And it's like, the main city from that period of time. Is there anything special or interesting that, uh, that we should know about your city, like landmarks that we should visit that I can show them up here? Oh, there's lots. Like, like wherever you go. Oh. Kind of like Circleville. Yeah. <laughs> give, me, give me one example so I can show them. Langmarks. There's like a lot of like, yeah, like this, I'd say is the main. Okay, tell, tell me about this. This is a church, right? Yeah. What, it's what, like the main church. Do you know what it's named? Uh, Duomo. Oh, Santa Maria del Fiore. Wasn't this in a Dan Brown novel? Oh, no. Do you know Dan Brown, Da Vinci Code? No, oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I I never read it. Okay. And also this one, I say. What is this? So basically, like in the Second World War, when, like, so Florence is like divided into by this river. Mm. And uh, the, like, Nazis tried to, like, not let the Allies, so, like, the United States to get them away. So they, like, okay made like all of the um, bridges explode except for that one. So that one is like the only old bridge. That's really cool. And people, li do people live there or, or is that shops? Um, actually people like live there. Okay. So like, what? It's like full of jewelry. Okay. What's this river called? Arno. The Arno River? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, can you tell us about any festivals in Florence that we should know about? Because you know about ours, right? <laughs> yeah. Right? You know what I'm talking about, right? That one? Oh, I was thinking about the winter festival at Rhodes on December 3rd. This week. No, what is Saturday, December 5th? This weekend? No? Yeah, it's Pumpkin Show. What, what's, what's your pumpkin show? Do you have, a, do you have something that, that's that big and... It's not really a show. I mean, except for like things that are like overall. Like the only Florence thing that's only in Florence is, is this like, it's kind of a sporty event. Okay, what's it called? Can I type it? <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you can, you can. Yeah, so it's like kind of like old fashioned way, kind of like soccer, but they actually like 
can fight too. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty right. funny. And like the city is like divided in four like teams based on which part of the city you are. Yeah. So like is it rugby? No. Uh, I mean there are pretty much like no rules, so I couldn't tell you which sports it looks like, but yeah. I want to play this game. <laughs> and I want to watch it. So you can just punch people if you want. Yeah. One time I'm pretty sure like somebody like ripped an ear off somebody else. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's move to Florence. Is uh, Michelangelo's David in Florence? Uh, yeah. Okay. I, you all know when I say Michelangelo's David, you know what I'm talking about. I know some of you art students do. How about, how about, right? Like, okay. Michelangelo's David. <clears throat> of course, he's naked, so I'm not going to show you the naked picture because nudity is forbidden. Right? But this famous one is supposed to be like the epitome of, of sculpture. Am I wrong with that? Like, like, yeah. okay. All right. So tell us, how old are you? 16. 16. So what grade are you in then? Are you a junior? Uh, I skipped the grade. Okay. So there's five years of high school in Italy, and I'm in my fourth one because I skipped the grade, but it would be my better one for my age. This is new to me. Tell me, tell me about this. Five years of high school. Yeah. When do you? What, what's your first year? How old are you in your first year? No, it's the same as year. You oh. Just finish at like nineteen. So you have to go to school until you're nineteen. Oh no, you don't have to. You can drop out at sixteen. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Is that one of the questions? Now we. I've skipped number. Th I've, I've given you some of number three, um, but let's let's go on the back. Let's go on the back to number six. So number seven, how is school different here? We have four years of high school. You have five. Why do you have five years of high school? Hmm. What do you do in that last year? Is there something special you do in that last year that... Okay, interesting. All right. Tell us about how much homework you have oh, okay. in Italy. A lot. Okay, what's a lot mean? Uh, like, I'd say that the average student goes to school, goes back home, eats, and studies, like, three months, like, all afternoon. Did you hear that? Did you say that only the best students go oh, home and study? Yeah, right. The average student goes home and studies. Why? Why? What's the purpose behind this? Um, so, like, we don't have the same classes every day. Okay. So the teachers, uh, like sometimes, like some of, of the subjects, uh, we have them maybe like two periods a week. So okay. the teachers are like, oh, like to like make back for the fact that we only have three hours. Okay. I would really like to go to them. Okay. Interesting. How many how many hours? Like, if you have a class only two uh, two days a week, how many hours is each class period? Uh, it's around like one hour. One hour. Each. It's like minutes. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Now this, I, I've heard the second hand from Mrs. Grady, so I may not be a hundred percent accurate on here. How do, how do people treat the teachers in Italy? Oh, it's like way more like respectful, like. Uh, it's not like the students that go, like each, like you are with the same people for five years uh, and like in the same classroom and okay. the teachers move around the school and whenever like a teacher comes in, you have to like stand up, be quiet and it's way more like respectful. So you stay in one classroom all day, mm -hmm. pretty much. All day long for five years. Yeah. The teachers move from class to class. And when the teacher comes in, you have to stand up. Do you have to say anything? Good morning. You have to say good morning to the teacher. And what happens if you don't? Move you away to get up. Oh. Like sit and stare at you and make it awkward. And in your country that you might get spanked. Yeah. 
Uh, not high school. Okay, not in high school. Okay. Now, is that just pretty much the same how how you do it? And yeah. I think that you said that in your presentation. Okay. All right. All right. Let's 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 practice this. Okay. Couple of you, thank you, thank you, thank you. There, there's none of the freshmen to that. Uh, one freshman. Okay. Right. How would you like to do that all day? I told you that you had it good. Thank you for those of you who stood up. I told you that you had it good, right? That doesn't mean that you're not allowed to complain about what we have, but it's it's just it's way different, right? Okay. Um, this one, this next one is just uh, because I was in a mood when I wrote this. Do people vandalize bathrooms in Italy? In mm -hmm. Italian schools, that's like the normal, like riding on the roll. Not like tearing off mirrors and, no. <laughs> and tearing stuff out of the ceiling. And uh, unless they did like it that. easier, I don't know that. Okay. Very interesting. Are sports a big thing? Mm -hmm. For the average student, does the average student participate in? Uh, once we get to like high school, it's like, unless you're like a really good athlete, it's really difficult that like a normal kid that won't like, because we have so much to like study at school. Okay. Like it's really difficult that somebody continues to do it. Okay. Do you, do you play sports? Oh yeah, I used to. You used to. But I stopped like my freshman year. Because, you stopped because? Yeah, because I couldn't like, Of all that work? Yeah. Interesting. Hmm, how do you feel about that? How many of you go home? and work on your schoolwork every day for five hours. One, what do you do? Okay, that's one out of, what, 20? Interesting. Five hours is like a normal day. Like, some nights I believe like, Oh, exam, exam week is two hours. Some weeks wow. I go to sleep at like three or four every night. Wow. What time do you get up? Um, six. Okay. Now, now this is not on the script. Let me ask you. Um, I, is it on the script? Is it, I, I don't ask this. I didn't ask this on the script. I'm kind of like getting at that with number seven, you all. But like, I mean, both of you can answer right now. Wh which system do you prefer? Ours or yours? Why? Good question. Okay. So why do you prefer this one to, to yours? Well, in Italy, teachers are like, they like mm, take advantage of like their powerfulness hmm. or like, I really don't like it. Okay. Yeah. And here, yeah. like school has also like fun things. In Italy, it's like you go to school like 8 a.m. You go away like, we don't even have lunch. Like, it's literally just like, you go to Do you have to bring your lunch? Uh, no. Oh. 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 What? You get sued here for that. Even when I give people lunch detention, which I have, I still have to give them lunch, right? How about, how about you? Way easier. Way easier. Like a couple hours a day. A lot of hours a day less work. And like when it comes to homework, uh, if you don't don't submit in the due date, there's no way they're accepting it any other day. Even if it's at the end of the day, they won't accept it. So no late work. Late work allowed. Um, we don't really like. They give us homework. But they don't like give it, give us a grade on it. So oh. We can just like. There's a few teachers that like check it, and if you didn't do it, they put you like a yeah, like yeah. a little note, but wow. you don't get like an A. Like homework, could be if you have a B B plus, it goes to like A or an A minus. That's how homework works. Oh, so it's not worth that much. So why do it then? Why why spend five hours a night doing it? Because if you don't have them that B plus, they become a C plus. It's more like. What you do in the day, more than homework, we don't have like that much homework. 
study. Right. So why study all that time? What, what's the what's the purpose? Do you have the test? Are the so, tests harder there than here? We also have like other than like recent tests, we have like oral tests. So like you have to get up in front of the class and, and, and give your answers. I'm getting such great ideas. Spanking? Elementary, not, not elementary. Or elementary, not high school. Uh, Spanking? Uh, no. Oh, I'm uh, not sure though. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> it's getting weird, honestly. <laughs> All right. Let's 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 get off. I think I'm beating a dead horse there. Um, it, look, I'm not saying that that their way is better or that our way is worse, or that our way is better and their way is worse. I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying it's different. And I want you to see the difference, the cross-cultural differences there. I will ask you, though, do you think you're learning more here, or no. did you learn more there? No. Are you being prepared here for your career no. as well as you were there? No. Okay. Fair enough. Do you have school dances? No. I mean, some schools do, I think. Eighth grade, that, like at the end of eighth grade. Okay. But, uh, Dude, I mean, I, I have this vision of the, the stereotype of Italian people liking to dance. So, like, do you, do, does your culture dance at any time? Do yeah. kids get to dance at any time? Mm -hmm. When, where, 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 where do Italian, I mean, if you're doing all this work, where, where, when do you, people your age get to let their hair down and hang out and all that kind of stuff? <laughs> Do, is there a, pl a gathering place that people yeah. go? Where? Um, we usually hang out in like, like in the city, just like in the streets. In the streets? Yeah. Town, are there town squares that you hang out in? Mm -hmm. We don't do that, do we? I mean, why don't you all go down and hang out by Richie's in the courthouse? Richie's is scary. I walk by myself at town at night. That's that's true. That's true. I used to do that in Columbus too. I didn't think a thing about it, but all right, fair enough. Do you feel safe in in your town at night? Oh, in my town? Yeah. No. Oh. Not here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I live in like, like the ghetto. <laughs> so. Oh, okay. So you feel safer here? Yeah. Okay. That's that's good. That's good to know. I'm glad to hear that. Um, do police carry weapons? Yeah. Okay. So I know some European countries, like Britain, I don't think they're allowed to normally. Oh, but... Okay. And then I okay. Is there any like Second Amendment? I don't know if you know what that means, like gun rights that Italians are allowed to carry weapons. Oh no. Okay. Fair enough. What's your dress code like at school? Oh, girls can wear any type of shorts. Any type of shorts? They cannot wear any type of shorts. Okay. Boys can't either. Boys can wear like their shorts. Okay. Oh. You're allowed to wear pants or does that have to be skirts? Uh, oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. But there's no like school uniform where you're at. Are you a public school or private school that you go to? Public school. Okay. What's the name of your public school? Do you mind telling me? Yeah. Um, so it's like IISS. IISS. Uh, space. Space. C A. C A. L A. Yeah, that's, what? That's it. it's kind of weird that it already came out. Oh my goodness. So this is what it looks like? Mm -hmm. I can zoom out. I don't think it's letting me zoom out. Oh, what's it? What's it? That's like it. Oh, that's the... Apartment complexes? Over there. 
What's this? Uh, is this your school? I yeah, don't. I, okay. Okay. School. I just want to make sure. Uh, oh, it's the gym. Okay, the gym. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Is college a goal for every for the average student? Yeah. Okay. But you can drop out at sixteen. What happens to dropouts? Okay, so you can at an age sixteen, you can go and start your career if you want to, and there's no penalty for not going to school. Because here, if you if you stop going to school at age sixteen, they'll, the truancy officers will come after you. I mean, if you drop out at sixteen, your parents have to like consent too. But... Okay. <clears throat> now, um, let me give you all a chance. Go on the front. Because I've, I've focused more on school this time, but I want to give you a chance to ask, like, think of questions that you want to ask. So if you can think of any questions that you want to ask, go ahead and ask them now. And it doesn't have to be about school. It can be about um, culture. It can be about soccer. It can be about Favorite bands? I, I, I don't know. I mean, favorite movies? What, do, are there Italian movies or is it most, mostly just American movies? Oh, okay. Are they good? Yeah. Compared to? Comedy ones are, are great. Yeah. Italian comedy? It's kind of famous for, yeah, it's kind of famous. We're kind of famous for like, comedy movies. Is there anybody that I would know? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Now is your turn. If you want to write down your question, that's fine. Or if you just want to ask it, uh, just go ahead and raise your hand so we don't like go. And you can pick who you want to, to ask. To... Do you remember how many Arion had? Fifteen, yeah. right? Fifteen in one semester. Uh, she wins in the international competition. <laughs> Seventeen, fifteen. Some of you have six. Some of you have seven, maybe eight. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, no, you, you go ahead. Oh, yeah. What was the biggest culture shock? Um, I feel like how big everything is. Like, mm. houses, like the space within the houses, um, the school. Like, and it is considered like a small school. Like, mm -hmm. Can I can I comment on that real quick? When I when I I've been to Italy, uh, Rome, and when I was there, and when I was in in England, and when I was in Germany, I was very disappointed at how small the servings of the food were. Oh yeah, no, it's crazy. Like you have really big like servings. Like if you want to drink, like the cans are like this big, and there's no refills. What? Is your country healthier than ours? Yeah. Fair enough. There's another question somewhere. Oh, you asked you. Okay. Did anybody else have a question that you want to ask? Because if not, I'm going to. All right. Uh, number four. What was your impression of the U.S. before you came here? Um, Just in general terms. You don't have I think to. It was like, my visa was like based on. Teenage mean Girls. Have you seen Mean yeah. Girls? <laughs> no, is, it, is it like Mean Girls here? No. Okay. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Did you expect to come to a country full of racists? No. No? Okay, good. Did you expect to come to a country full of gun-toting crazy people? Did you expect to come to a country full of Trump supporting? No. no. Okay. 
And uh, I'd say, and I'm one of like my biggest like open shots, is that my city in like particular is like kind of famous in Italy for being kind of like left wing. Very liberal. Yeah. Okay. So like coming here is kind of like. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Right. This is the middle of Republican conservative Ohio. Okay. Now look at number five. You are not allowed to ask right now for swear words in Italian. That's not appropriate right now. If you ask that later, that's your thing. Tisk tisk tisk. Is there anything that you want to hear her say in Italian that's you know appropriate? How about something very simple? Good morning, how are you? You say, como esta? Come stai. Come stai. Notice the cognates there between Spanish and Italian because they're both Romance languages. You know what that means? They both derive from Latin. Okay. How do you say goodbye, have a good day? Okay. Am I spelling this right? Spell, spell goodbye. Uh, Is that it? Oh, sorry. Yeah. All right. If you don't write anything else down, you can write that. That word is goodbye. Arriva Yeah. Close enough? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else you want to hear or say? How about that's a spicy meat to ball? Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm just kidding. That is a horrible, horrible stereotype. Um, do you like Italian food here? I tell you what, I had some of the best pizza and calzones ever when I was in Italy. Oh my goodness. It was, it was really, really good. Why, why don't you, have you been to Olive Garden? I tried the breadstick, but I don't like it. Okay. Have you been to Buca di Beppo? No. Okay. Have you? Who's your? Can I ask who's your um, your host family? The Martinez. Okay. I would love to to hear if you go to like Fizzoli's or something like that, and then tell us how how much it's not like Italian food. Okay. Um, anything else you all want to ask before? Oh, how about number nine? What do you love about Circleville and Pickway County? Is there one thing that you love about Circleville and Pickway County? Mm -hmm. Or at least like a lot? Make us feel good before we like leave. The place? Yeah. The place, the people. Walmart. Where's Walmart? Where's like sheets? The sheets? Yeah. Oh. No, like the, the gas station? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I was expecting to say the the warm welcome you receive from everyone and, and how much they, how much we uh, you appreciate our hospitality. But I'm just kidding. Oh, that's really wonderful. Oh, that too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Anybody? Anybody? Do you have any really good friends in here? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to? Do, do they want to ask you a question? Oh, in, in, in this yeah. yeah. Do you, you guys want to ask a question? Is there anything else? No? All right. All right. Thank you very much. Can you give her a golf clap? That's our way of, you know, not being silly when we, when we, uh, when we thank somebody. So, so thank you very much. I'll see you ninth period. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Make sure your name's on the front, people. I'll take that for points. You can actually stay if you want, it, or you can go back to your place. That's totally up to you.
Thank <laughs> you. 